Converting an arithmetic series to summation form. In this problem, we have an arithmetic series, and we're going to convert it into summation form. Step one, identify the first term, the difference, and number of terms. The first term is three. The difference here is the number we add to get from one term to another. So in this case, we add six to three to get to nine. Then we add 6 to 9 to get to 15. So our difference here is 6. And we're going to use D to represent that. Then the number of terms is going to be 7, since there are 7 terms. And we're going to use N to represent that. Step 2. Substitute into our summation formula. And our summation formula has I starting at 0, and then N uh, minus 1 and then di plus a. So given our values, we simply substitute in for n, d, and a, and that gets us our summation form. And we can just do a simple test here. If I substitute 0 in for i, that's going to get me uh, 0 plus 3, and that's our first term. And let's say i is 1, so 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3, that gets me 9. So uh, it corresponds to our series. The next problem we have has to do with an infinite series. Uh, it starts at 8 and it continually goes on indefinitely. So the first step into writing this into summation form is to identify the first term the difference, and since the number of term is infinite, we don't need to identify the number of terms. So the first term is 8, then the difference to get from one number to the next is going to be 10. So A is going to represent 8, and D is going to represent 10. Then we substitute into our summation formula. And note that this summation formula, there's an infinity symbol that represents uh, the infinite series. So we simply substitute in for D, the difference, and then A, which is the first term. So 10 and 8. And there we have it, our infinite series in summation form. And this completes our problem.